Has there so been moments this good. year where you thought that you guys are turning the corner? Um, or can you even sense as you're going through this up and down that it's going to be very up and down? Yeah, well, no, we I – mean, yeah, if you're asking me, I'm a, I'm a very, very optimistic person. Um, I think the world of this team, I think we have a shot. I've been around for a very, very long time, and uh, we have, you know, pretty much everything we need. It's just putting it all together on a on a consistent basis, and uh, we're right there in the hunt. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's still, you know, somewhat early in the year. Uh, you know, pole position hasn't really got serious, and, you know, the, the winning is all about, you know, playing well at the right time, uh, getting hot. You know, you've seen – some teams historically, you know, start getting flame high at the end of the year and, and it clicks and, uh, you know, give themselves a chance. So uh, this is a league where you got to kind of take it a day at a time, a game at a time and just continue to build. Um, you know, we got we have a great leader in, in Coach Kerr and, and Steph and, and Draymond who bring it every day, you know, that optimism. And uh, those guys have, have, have gone the distance many, many a times and they understand it's a long road and, you know, you know, I'm coming here and just trying to, you know, iterate that to the rest of the team. You know, it's going to be a long year and, uh, you know, we're just going to stay with it and continue to grind. Steph, Steph considering uh, how uh, precarious you, you know, you seem to think these games are sometimes, uh, how t- the, the fourth quarter, especially knowing that the game could get it away from this team pretty quickly. Say that last part again, you broke up a little bit. Uh, knowing that the game could get away quickly, like you said, it's like in the margins, a couple minutes of not playing the right way, the game could get away. Does that make that six minutes tougher to sit to start the fourth? I got you. I know what he's talking about. Yeah, it all. I mean, it's that is the balance of the big picture and trying to win every game, or not. We're trying to win every game, but to uh, you know have the feel of like, you know, if it's coming back at eight or nine uh, minutes or whatever it is um, versus how I feel physically, like I obviously want to play as, you know, as many minutes as possible and try to go um, and steal a game late tonight. But uh, that's obviously just reads on a night to night basis. And, you know, as we get a little deeper in the season, possibly could get a little bit more aggressive in that, in that respect. Um, and it might be necessary, but you know, right now it's trying to get everybody um, comfortable because we do need everybody to, to play and to find our true rotations as we get deeper in the season. And, um, you know, there's going to be a sense of urgency on that at, at some point. Hello, Steph. Chris Chalas from Greece. I would like to ask you, what was the, the biggest lesson of uh, the tonight's game for your team? And what was uh, the main issue that you would like to solve about your game? It goes back to that point where it can be ugly, back-to-back, schedule all that. We were within two or three possessions in the third quarter um, and weren't able to finish it down the stretch and and keep it somewhat close and respectable so that you can go, you know, win an ugly game on the road in the fourth quarter. Um, And that's just, uh, you know, just thinking a little bit more in terms of what we're trying to accomplish in those little moments. So, um, be a good film study.